Ready? Three, two, two one. one, go. So at first glance, it's been an upgrade. Welcome back to the channel. And this week, on this week's episode, it's tool test time. Yeah. Welcome back to the channel. And on this week's episode, it's tool test time. We're gonna be pitching the Hikoki 36 DAX versus the very brand new 36 DC. So we're gonna be putting them both through the paces, head to head, we're gonna be screwing through timber, concrete, and we're even gonna have a screw off at the end. Let's, Let's get into it. One, go. Sorry, China. <laughs> Away, it is, but it is, but it is. So we're going to take you through some of the stats now, old versus new, and see how they compare. Now I've been graced with the old one. The first thing we'll measure is per newton meters. Now on the older model is 138. Where on the new model it's 155. The compact body size is 204 mil. Which again on the new one is down to 190 mil, showing that they've managed to get more power in a smaller model. Now the drill capacity is measured in three different variables: wood brick and metal. So the brick is 20 mil, the wood is 102 mil, and the metal is 16 mil. Where in the new model, in brick it has a 22 mil capacity, in wood is 118, and it's a very impressive 20 in the metal. Hammer function. And your mark's ready, set, let's go. Same again. Three, Three two, two, one, go. go. What a difference, <laughs> what a difference. Incredibly impressive. I mean, that is some, that's a serious test that is. That's going through reinforced concrete. So the older model with a full ramp battery weighs in at 2.7 kg. Where the new model comes in at a tidy 2.4 kg with the same battery in it, showing that bigger isn't always necessarily better. So the older model retails at 150 pounds for a body only. The new one isn't available yet, so we haven't got a price for it, but it'll be interesting to see how that price fares against this one once this one is available on the open market in the UK. Why don't I just put it in the van, you sausage? <laughs> the camera though, isn't it? Yeah, but it goes up the side, doesn't it? What's up, boy? So now, before we get into our third and final test, the screw challenge, I'd just like to say a big thank you to Hikoki UK for sending me out this drill to try out. As you know, I'm a Hikoki man, Sam's a Makita fan, so if there are any other tools that you'd like us to test in the future, be sure to drop it in the comments below and we'll see what we can do for you. <laughs> God, we've got the small crew out. There's about 20 bikers. Yeah. Let's have it. Let's have it. Old versus new. We're going to make this as fair as possible. We've both got 28 mil spy bits. They're both brand new. We're going to go three, two, one, go. Uh, on go or one? On go. Three, two, one, go. Ready? Ready? Three, two, two one. one, go. <laughs> oh! Pretty impressive. Winner. Pretty impressive. Think so I think it's winner. fair to say that's one nil to the new boy. So if someone loses a wrist. <laughs> Serious, eh? Camera's all rolling? Ready? Yep. Three, two, two one. one, go. <laughs> I mean, it was, it was good. <laughs> that concludes our testing and it's fair to say, this, I've had it for about 10 months, it's a great tool. This is a better one. It absolutely whooped it in all three tests and showed a, difference in the upgrade. a serious, serious upgrade. It's more powerful, it's lighter, and it's more compact. I don't know what more you need. Well, I'm a Makita fan, a Koki, you've done damn well upgrading this model. I'm on that now. We're going for a Mackie's? Yeah, let's go. I'm starting. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, next week, can we do a Makita one? <laughs>